I felt very, very honored, and uh, I, I knew because uh, Penelope was in Pirates Four, uh, the team, production team, and uh, they treat her so beautifully, and I was very happy to be part of the group because I saw them and working on Pirates Four, and I thought that they did a great job. So I knew it was going to be a great experience. Working with Jeffrey Rush is always uh, a pleasure and, uh, and an honor. I mean, uh, I still remember the, remember the first day I saw Shine on a movie theater. I was blown away. I mean, he's a fantastic actor. And he's really, really into the work. I mean, he's a very uh, committed, uh, detailed actor that wants to do everything into perfection. And it was very rewarding for me to be near near him and always learning from such an amazing actor. Johnny is a great guy, he's very sweet and fantastic actor. I mean, it's, you just go there and they say action and he's always ready. Also, for me it was difficult not to be uh, a spectator of what he does because he does it so well. I think they know what they're looking for and it's going to be given to them, which is joy and fun and entertainment in, on the highest quality in the sense of uh, visually and uh, special effects and also the fun of seeing Jack Sparrow again doing his things. Uh, but there are also, I think, in my opinion, very interesting characters into the plot there are new characters that are going to bring a new flavor to it. New meaning a different dimension to, to what it's been so far, which has been a great, one of the best, uh, most powerful franchise of all time. They really complete each other. That's why they've been working together for so long. And they are, first of all, they are great, sweet, nice, generous, intelligent, smart human beings, which is the most important thing. You know? And uh, as an actor, they really gave me the room and the field to bring all my options, to come with all my options. But at the same time, they were taking very good care of me in the sense that they will frame my performance by, by, their, by their directions. There is a point in the story where I can relate to him. I can understand his mentality and escape the more I can from that black and white thing. Of course he's the villain, of course he has to do his role, in, his role in the movie, but also we can find empathy for him. We can find a way of being in that character that people can relate to in one way or the other. Uh, and that's the challenge, and that was the fun part. And that's where Jerry Bruckheimer, Disney, uh, the directors, the screenwriter, they all, uh, along with me, we became part of the same uh, uh, challenge. We wanted that to happen and we all worked together in order to make it happen. And that's rewarding as an actor, that in a movie like this big, you have your room to bring your, your, yeah, your ideas and your, your proposals. I met Jerry years ago in Pirates 4 and being part of the Jerry's group, Jerry's family was one of the Mm, important reasons for me to be in this movie because I really saw how he treated the crew and how he treated the people and I, I wanted to be part of that. Hey Lisa here, so are you a movie lover? Well, in this day and age we see hundreds of movies a year in numerous genres like action, comedy, romance and more. Some of these movies are great and some just don't live up to our expectations. For all you movie lovers out there, here are some interesting facts from movies that you might or might not know. In the movie Carrie, the end of the movie was shot in reverse order, a technique of the film to make scenes look more ghost-like. A close viewing of the film will show cars moving in reverse. What do the 101 Dalmatians and Wendy from Peter Pan have in common? The 102 characters are the only characters in Disney's past to have both of their parents present and alive for the whole course of the movie. Gone with the Wind producers were fined $5,000 for allowing obscenities in the film's dialogue. The offensive and expensive word, damn. 
One of the films Will Smith is best known for almost didn't happen. The actor didn't want to participate in Men in Black until his wife persuaded him otherwise. In the film Monsters, Inc., Boo has a woody doll. That's the famous cowboy from Toy Story. Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was based on a former boyfriend of writer J.K. Rowling. I Know Who Killed Me, starring Lindsay Lohan, has had the most Razzie Awards ever given to a film. Now, the Razzies are awards for the worst in movies. So, did you know any of these facts? Did you find them interesting? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.